I know my rights. I'm born and raised here in Florida. I don't know where the f you're from. No, I want to okay. learn. This is what we're going to do. Are you, you going to stand serious? here, spread your legs? No, I'm spread like peeing my pants. I'm literally peeing my pants. Oh, and you're going to be peeing on yourself. Bye. On January 15, 2023, at 2.30 a.m., this woman crashed into a parked car. After police determined she was uninjured and had processed the damage to the vehicles, she was apprehended for a possible DUI. Oh. I'm Officer Smith. That's me. How you doing? Great, how are you? What's your name? Hey, you want to, you want to stand on the sidewalk that we get up the road some? Hey, we can, we can walk over here to um, just, a, just a sidewalk right here. Huh? Well, I'm trying to get away from the car crash because we're still in the roadway. You're you're fine. You're fine. Okay. No, I like really. Okay. So, here you just, you just stand in front of my car. What's? Okay. Even though. What's what's going on? Well, I was leaving leaving work here. And my car was pa parked behind there because there was no parking. And I had to come up this way, and there was an ambulance parked right where the officer or that car was, right there. Okay. So I went around the ambulance, and not on the full speed or nothing, but I did not see that car. Okay. So I did clip it okay. a second. I'm at full fault. I do get that. But I don't believe that I was in any danger of anybody or anything. Okay. Alright, you're, you're not hurt at all, are you? I am not. No. Okay. So, Officer Witt um, conducted the traffic crash investigation in reference to um, the traffic crash, okay? So, <clears throat> our traffic crash investigation is over, okay? Uh, what I'm here to conduct is a DUI investigation. Okay. Okay? Reason being is that. Um, I can smell the strong odor of alcohol on your breath. Okay, your eyes are red and watery. I know. The officer read her Miranda rights, but she refused to speak until she had spoken to a lawyer. The officer explained, your statements can and will be used against you in court. He then asked, do you understand? In this case, her refusal to answer whether or not she understood the Miranda was not an issue, as the United States Supreme Court has ruled that citizens have the right to remain silent without counsel present. However, on a traffic stop, drivers are required to show a valid driver's license, car registration, and proof of insurance. To stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? A verbal yes or no. That way I know that you understand. A verbal yes or no. Unless I have a lawyer, I'm not speaking. So, do you understand each of these rights have a No, unless I call a lawyer. Okay, wait, we'll... we'll Can we'll, I call my lawyer? We'll go step by step, okay? I'll call my lawyer. Okay. Here, let's... No, I'm going to call my lawyer. Okay. So, let me get through this first. And You're going to keep can... doing that, but I'm okay, still going to call I, my I lawyer. I need you to... I need a lawyer her. present. Okay. I need a lawyer present. So could, you, so could we move forward with the investigation, please? Not unless I have a lawyer present. Okay. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? It's a simple yes or no. It said no unless I have a lawyer present. Okay. What part don't you, under, don't you understand? I need a lawyer present. Okay. So you have the right to remain silent and these they can use it against you in court? Unfortunately, at that early hour, few lawyers are picking up the phone. But that does not prevent the officer from detaining her if he has reasonable and sufficient cause to believe her to be under the influence and a threat to public safety when operating a vehicle. I don't respond to anything unless I have a lawyer present. Is this yes or no? No. So you don't understand your rights? <laughs> what part don't you understand? I understand that I'm not speaking unless I have a lawyer present. Okay. So, <clears throat> as I explained, in a DUI investigation, okay, based off of my observations, I believe you might be impaired, okay. Would you be willing to participate in field sobriety exercises to determine your ability to operate a motor vehicle safely? Not unless I have a lawyer present. Okay, so in regards to field sobriety, you don't have rights to a lawyer. I have rights to my 
not don't feel surprised. To my own rights, yes, I do. So no, I will not. Okay. So you can. So if you me. if you refuse sobriety, uh, which I you can. I understand how it works. I will have to make a determination based off of what I know thus far, which is that the odor of alcohol is coming from your breath, your eyes are bloodshot, red and watery, and you crashed a motor vehicle. So do you want to participate in field sobriety? No, I have allergies and that's why my eyes are red. And there was also an emergency okay. vehicle parked right. So in I have reason to believe that you might be impaired. Okay, to dispel that my blocked fears. my my view of the whole road. Okay, so to dispel. But yes, my so what you're that you saying, might be impaired. Would you be willing to participate in field sobriety exercises? Not unless I have a lawyer present. So is that yes you or no? Have a lawyer over Yes or no? Yes, no. Can I call a lawyer? Yes, yes or no? It's not a yes or no. Okay, I'll explain to you, you don't have rights to an attorney right now. Yes, I do. The officer was right. Field sobriety test is time sensitive, and she had no right to wait for a lawyer at that exact moment. However, she could refuse a field sobriety test in most states, but must submit to a calibrated breath test at the station or in some cases at a hospital. Or she could have taken the test there and hoped that it showed her to be sober. And if again, I repeat, with, it's, unless it's, my lawyer is present, okay. so are you going to so, say I'm resisting? So the next thing that comes out of your mouth, if it isn't yes, that you're willing, are you then going it's to, resisting? then it's going to be taken as a no. So <laughs> do you wish to participate and feel surprised? Can I call my lawyer? Okay. Turn around and put your hands on your back for me. Can I call my, oh, so now I can't call my lawyer. So I am placing you under arrest for DUI, okay? Yeah, uh, I'm guilty to control this. Uh, all your stuff has to go with you. You can't turn this stuff over there. Let it go, please. Can you let it go, please? No. Will you please give this a Zoe so she can get my car? We have to keep all your stuff with you. That's not true. No, it's not. No, the phone's so far. You know, all of that is gone. Okay. The phone's in the purse. It's all right. No, it's not. It was not just in the purse. You just put it there. And that's my camera, too. That's my camera. Right. There's the camera right there. I have the camera on the back camera. Yeah, so yeah. that phone yeah. didn't fall in that purse. Right there. Yeah, but that wasn't falling in there. That hey, two women cussed me. Hey, so I am so now, if you can talk to Zoe and Brandon and have them move my car, they know where I live. I'll take care of it. Right. So I'm now requesting you submit to a lawful breath test for purposes of determining this alcohol content. Not unless I have Would a lawyer. Would you provide me with the breath sample? Not unless I have a lawyer. I've already explained that to you, okay? And I explained it to you. Not unless I have a lawyer. Okay, perfect. Here, just step over to, to my car, please. Oh. I just stay here from my car. I'm not. All right. Right. Can you get my purse and phone and stuff? Oh, here. Can I grab her stuff? No, it's gotta go with her. It's gotta go with her. Yes, sir. Car goes with me. That why 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 can't you allow someone to do that? Right. I've I've done that before for somebody. So, listen, if you refuse to take the test, I have a question of you. Your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year. Are you reading it off a list? For 18 months, if your driving privilege has been previously suspended for refusal to submit to a lawful test. Are you reading it off a list? Breath, urine, and blood. Additionally, if you refuse to take the test, I have a question of you. And if your driving privilege has been previously suspended for refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, and blood. You will be committing a misdemeanor in addition to any other penalties which can be opposed by law. Refusal to submit to the test I have requested is admissible into evidence in any criminal proceeding. Do you refuse to submit to this test? I request a lawyer. Okay. So, you don't have rights to an attorney at this point. I do have rights to an okay. attorney. You're not being interrogated. Okay. But I will not speak any further until I have an attorney present. Okay. So, so that is, license? no, I will not speak anymore unless I have an attorney present, so. Understood, okay. So I will not answer yes or no to that until so, I have an attorney so, present. And you refuse so, to listen, let me call my attorney. So listen, so your refusal, okay? So anything other than a yes, once again, will be taken as a no. So will you provide me with the breast sample? 
I want my attorney. Okay. Once again, you don't have right to an attorney right now. Do you, will you put on the breast sample? Not unless my it's, lawyer is. It's, it's just yes or no. Why do you make it so difficult? Just yes or no. Because I have a right to an attorney. Yes or no. And I asked to you're call not, my you're, attorney. You're not being interrogated. Unless I have a lawyer present. So, no? Okay. I'm gonna take, no content. Okay. I'm going to take you your. Didn't. It's fine. Let me call my attorney. I'm going to take your silence I'm as not, a no. Why are you pulling me into the front seat? A female? A bowl? No. I just want my attorney. If my attorney's present, I will answer all questions. You're not going to attorney right now. You're not being interrogated. I We're do. We're not going to ask any questions that will solicit a criminal response. Yeah. He's asking you questions. He was asking you questions that I want my attorney. Like, I don't feel like I should be arrested. It's understandable. I think one's on the way, sir. Where's your ID at? I put uh, her person bag on top of the Gave that to you the first thing. Okay. I have her idea, I'll give it to you. Okay. Alright. So, so I need you to tell me, what's, what's your name? What's your name? What's yours? Smith. Also Smith. What's your first name? John Smith. Yes. My last name? Okay. How old are you? 26, I'll be 27 this year. Okay, so you have you have understanding of what's I'm going on I'm born and raised here. I understand. Okay, so you understand the whole purpose of this right now? Yes, I understand my rights also. Okay. And I, I understand I am entitled to a lawyer. So, we're not soliciting any questioning pertaining to any, um, like, we're not interrogating you. Okay, so you don't have the right to an attorney at this point. Now, if we take you into a interview room and we're going to interrogate you about a crime you're already committed me in. to jail, yes, you're under yeah. arrest. So I'm not speaking unless I have an attorney present. Because this is insane. Hey, two, if I have an advice, apply to the And you guys aren't letting anyone take my car to even move it. So, I live right up the so road. So per policy, if the if the driver of a motor vehicle is arrested, the car will be towed. Unless you have somebody to soberly that's, move it, that's and not, that's I've not done the, it before. That's not the. Okay. That's not the policy. I, listen, I, I've I, done it before. I'm born. I'm born and raised here. I have to follow my department's policy. Do whatever you got to do. I have cameras watching, and, and, and me too. I don't. I don't want to get fired. And you won't get fired, and I will listen, probably not be held against this because I said I wanted an attorney. Ma'am, listen, okay. I won't speak unless I have an attorney. Okay, I already explained and to I have, you. Don't. So, but I have rights to that. You're not being an attorney. Do you understand? Do you understand when attorney when an attorney is required? Yes or no? You just had to read my rights to me off a piece of paper. Yes. Because you didn't memorize them. You didn't have them memorized. So you're what a new state, cop. What states that you have to? What remember? cop is gonna arrest me that has to read their the Miranda rights off a piece of paper? Anyone. No, they haven't memorized. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I know what to tell you. You literally just had to read my room. Miranda <gasps> rights. Miranda rights, yeah. Off a piece but of you paper. had to recite it off a piece of paper because you don't have it memorized. So you're a new cop. You have to be a new cop. I know my rights. I'm born and raised here in Florida. I don't know where the fuck you're from. Okay. But I know I'm entitled to a lawyer, and I could have called. I, you guys didn't even give me the chance to call my lawyer, and I could have got him on the phone, and I could get my car fucking. There's a few people inside that can move my car right now, but instead, and I've moved people's cops or cars when they got arrested, and the you cops move cops cars. I've moved my friends' cars right. when they got arrested, and the cops have let me do that. All right. So I know that's like you guys are just being really extra right now. We're not. Listen. No, you are. We're not. You're, you're in a public roadway right now, okay? I know where I'm at. Move your car where? To my house. No. 
that's not an option. Yes, that does happen. That's not an option. It's happened a few times. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. That I like that. I'm cops... sorry. It's not gonna happen this time. Okay. Yeah. You're, so you guys just you're going gonna... to jail for DUI. Your car is being towed. Okay. That's just point point. Bottom line. Okay? You could take me to jail for a DUI, but can you let your somebody car, take my car home? Your car is being towed. Okay. Why can't someone take my listen, car home? This is the last time I'm gonna tell you. Okay. I don't want to go back and forth. You're old enough to understand. Your car is being towed. You're going to jail. Because there's no reason that I can understand I'm going to jail, but why can't someone move my car if someone can legally move my car? Because that's not what the policy says. No more questions, okay? No, I, I'm not. No, no, no. You, that's not what it. Happened? I have to search the sweetheart. Remember, you just talked to me over there? Like yeah, an I hour know. Ago. It, can I, like, say for one thing? Well,. Uh, whatever he's asking you, I just, I, I'm here to search you, okay? Because I, I have to do that. A female has to search a female, okay? Do you understand that? Oh, I understand, oh, but okay. it's cold as shit out here right now. Are you going to strip search me like outside right now? Of course not, no. Okay, so, can I say this one thing sure, to you? Of course. Because I work here, I work everywhere. Uh, okay. I have someone liable to take my car home. Okay. So now that's not a thing. So... That is up to the investigating officer, and our policy dictates if somebody is under arrest, um, then the car usually is towed. It was up to the arresting officer how her car got moved out of the roadway and where it was taken. Given that she had caused damage to another car, it would be standard procedure for the car to be towed and impounded as evidence pending examination. Just like at your job, you have to follow certain rules. And so those rules we have to follow as well. Does that make sense? No, it totally does make okay. sense, but there's been incidents, like, and I get it, I'm born racing, so I've had the opportunity and stuff like that to take friends' cars home when they've been in situations. Right. Officers have let me take the. Well, car I don't home. know if that's, in this circumstance, and we have to go based upon our policies that govern us right now and today. I, I can appreciate and understand that in the past you may have had a different, um, you know, circumstance or a different situation but we have to follow the policies that our boss has put in place for us right. so and can I ask you another thing too because sure. I told him okay that I will not speak unless I have a lawyer and he said I was not entitled to have a lawyer so is that correct or incorrect I'm not sure where we are at in well someone knows so. if yeah. I get if I'm entitled to a lawyer so, so you're, that you're yes doing or a DUI no? investigation. I'm in handcuffs right now. Feel he's sobriety. Answering, listen, he's answering your question. Feel sobriety. Listen. And you're, and you're me asking you for a breath test. You're not entitled to an attorney at that point. With a we're breath not test. We're not interrogating you, okay? okay? We're not asking you any questions. One second. Or, or, Before I was even in handcuffs, I tried to call my lawyer and you guys threw me in handcuffs. Okay. You're detained for a DUI investigation. He's asking you if you wish to submit to a breath test. Um, an attorney is not applicable to a, a, a a breath sample, you understand, because we're doing a DUI investigation. That's what he's telling you in this stage of the aspect. If we were asking you... It was before if, this. Okay. If we're asking you incriminating questions or interviewing you, then we would be reading your Miranda. Right now, he's just... He already read me my Miranda. Okay. And right now, he's asking if you wish to submit to a breath test, which is not No, asking, he asked me that before. Okay, he's asking you that now. Is that correct? No, he asked me that, like, three times prior before. Right. Okay. She, she's just stuck on this whole... Okay. So... She, I tried to call my lawyer okay. a few times, okay. and he did not allow me to do that. Okay. And well, handcuffed me. Then you can call your lawyer after you have been processed. That's that's the situation we're in now. Do you understand? Well, I should have had the opportunity to call my lawyer. No, we, we, don't, we don't stop our arrest so you can call your lawyer. That's not helpful. You are able to contact your attorney after you've been processed. We conduct our investigation, and that's not depriving you of your rights. You still have the right to do that, but while we are in the process of an investigation, we do not stop and allow someone to call their attorney right. in this situation, yeah. okay? Yeah. So that's, you know, he is following the law and he is an expert at what he does. And I trust him. He just him. had to read me my Miranda rights off a piece of paper. He doesn't have them That's memorized. our protocol. No, he no, no. doesn't have them memorized. It, we're not, we always read it off of a paper. You want to know why? Because then it's exactly the same each time. And that's our protocol because we don't deviate from it. It's a pre-printed text. But that has nothing to do with his ability to carry out his job. And they're not saying that. Okay, I would hope not, because that's not and the And I'm not at all. I'm born in a right. That's not a simple. I appreciate that information. When searching out, yeah, you need to get more information in your home. So why don't we move along, okay? Can you stand over here? Can you stand over here?
No, I okay. want to wear. This is what we're gonna do. Are you gonna stand here? Curious? Spread your legs. No, I'm spread like peeing my pants. I'm like literally peeing my pants. Well, then you're gonna be peeing on yourself. But I need you to spread your legs because you're getting surged. Do you I'm understand? I'm peeing my pants right now. Okay. Do you have any? I'm not resisting your rest. Okay. Well, I asked you to stand over here. You said no. Can you stop holding my arm like that? That no, hurt. I need... Okay. No, well, then comply. Comply. I'm not <laughs> resisting. Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke or stick me? Do you have underwire in your bra? Anything inside of your bra that I need to be aware of? I have to search you. That's yeah, my bra has a regular underliner. Okay. Uh, under do you, sometimes ladies tuck money or something in their bra. Do you have anything in your bra? I don't know. I you work don't know tonight. What's in your bra? Like, I don't know if I have money in my fucking bra right now. Right? I don't know. Okay. So you don't know if you have things in your bra? Yeah, because I work tonight. And I, okay. Do you normally keep money in your bra? Yeah, when I work, I put my cash. When I work a lot of. Okay. We work different shifts, and we have to put we have to pull different monies and stuff. I don't. Know I'm not going to expose you. I'm going to pull your t-shirt down, but I need, your sweatshirt's thick, so I need to check the pockets underneath. Do you have any drugs or weapons on you that I need to be aware of? Not that I'm aware of, okay. because I was not expecting this. Okay. Well. All right. So I'm going to check this way because I can feel under your shirt better, and I don't want you to expose. If there's money in there, Trayvon, I can't. Uh, feel very well because of the padding of everything. Okay. But I don't feel anything under the wire. All right, I'm just gonna gently pull your hair back so I can check your hood, okay? All right, and no other pockets on the inside of your pants, dear? I'll fix this. Oh, I don't feel my feet too. No, I'm not gonna do that. Well, why? You wanted to search me. I just need a dance I have to now. search you. But I just peed. Okay. Well, I'm sorry that you did that. Um, well, yeah. Well, drinking and driving is also unnecessary. Can you please stop pulling me? I'm well, escorting to the... You didn't even you? ask me please to come move. Over here. Please come over here. Now okay, I'm asking we're, you. We're, okay, we're done asking. But he okay. didn't ask me before. Okay. But I did and you didn't here. comply. So go in the car, please. Turn around. If you want to turn around, place your I did comply with you. Okay. Place your butt can in the car. I, like, can I literally car. pee first? Because I'm going to pee in this There's car. There's nowhere for you to pee out here. I will pee right here. No. Get in the car, please. Sit down in the car. I will pull you in the car, ma'am. Can you get in the car, please? I am not. Thank you. Okay, put your feet in, please. Can I sit down on yes. it? My hair is pulled up. And I R never, get ever. Get in the car, please. I'm trying to. Okay, put your feet in. You're not trying hard enough. I am trying to. I'm not being. Thank you. Being... Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I fucking deserve to talk to you. I have a lawyer that will know me. Now do you. And I deserve to have a lawyer present. That's a human right. I don't know what more you want from me. I want you to let me call a fucking lawyer. Ma'am, can you stop at the car, please? <clears throat> Ma'am. Is your cam dash on? Yes. Okay. How have you refused me from my power of attorney? Yes. How many times? Several. Right. All and right. because of why? Come on, step out the car, please. Can you step out the car, please? Sure. But Thank you've you. you've refused me for hey, my on. own hey, power hey, of attorney, hey, right? Come, come Correct? On. Yes or no? Yes. Correct? Yes. For what reasons? I will walk. Alright, come on. You don't, you have to, like you can't walk. Well you Just act wait. like I have no rights. I have a lot of fucking rights. Okay. Here, I don't want you getting hit by a car. No, I it's very Please hold. don't touch me. I'm not running away. I don't, I don't know for sure. So can I call my lawyer here yet? No. No. Because of? I said so. That's not how the power of attorney works. That's not how the law works. And you know the law? I know that you're... This is not the law. No. I have a word of voice and I have a... Oh, really? Yes. It, I should be able to call my fucking lawyer. I should have been able to call my lawyer a long fucking time ago. Oh, really? Get on your cam, too. Oh. We'll play it back for your employer, too. This is ridiculous. Tell me about it. I'm with a 26-year-old woman that acts like a 4-year-old. Tell me about how ridiculous this is. Tell me about it, right? It's not ridiculous. 
I could have been booked and processed and already on my way out. And you just did all this extra shit. So go ahead and get me fired and do whatever you have to do. You just try to get me strapped down to the bed in the hospital. I know my rights and I told you. Know your rights. That's good. The woman was eventually booked on two charges. DUI with a $1,000 bond and damage to property with a $2,000 bond.